As the NHL draft has drawn to its conclusion and the Calgary Flames have finalized their selections, Craig Conroy has left his stamp on this rebuild. And one pick that was made in the third round could very well go down as a huge steal for the Flames. And that is at least how it looks in the early goings. And we will take a deep dive into some of the other early round picks made by the Flames. But before we get into that, I want to welcome you to Flames Digest. I am Mark Griffith. If you're new around here and you love the Flames, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest news, updates, reports, and rumors revolving around your Calgary Flames. We would love to welcome you to the Flames Digest family. Lots of love going on right now and let's dive right into the flames get a steal yes i know obviously it is early to be saying that and it's early to be making that you know the title of the video the idea for a video but honestly just from what i've read about this kid what i have read online about how flames fans feel about it and just all the early reactions to this flames pick it seems like the flames truly did get a steal here. I'm sure most of you already know who I'm talking about, but without further ado, let's hop into Henry Muse, also known as Hank Muse. Already, he has an unreal name. I mean, for the younger generation, mewing, that is a huge thing going on right now. As you can tell with my huge double chin, I'm not a big mewer, but either way, Henry Muse, he mews, and he's also just fantastic at hockey. So in the third round with the 74th overall pick, the Flames did take him. He's a defenseman from the Ottawa 67s. I don't know what Craig Conroy and the scouting staff have about OHL defensemen, but they've got a thing for him, and I do too now because they have just hit some home runs. They got Perec, they already had Brustevich, and of course, Henry Hank Muse now unreal and what i have seen about this kid he just seems absolutely fantastic and you can take that from me but how about you take it from some people from the sea of red as well this was from the instagram um announcing that we had drafted him you see someone there saying cook then someone said connie cooking something strong another how did he fall to us with a crying emoji and then another connie is cooking my goodness gordon ramsay has to be unsure about the security of his employment right now because Craig Conroy is coming for him. He is cooking it up. Seems like the best chef in the world right now. And Henry Muse, I don't know a single person who is upset about this draft pick. And as you can see there from just strangers in the sea of red, even though we're all a family, of course, one great community, it seems like everyone loves him. Everyone is pleased with Muse. Everyone is pleased with Conroy. And it is kind of shocking that he did fall to us that late but we are absolutely thrilled that he did it's literally Zane Parekh again but this time happening in the third round instead of the first but as we always do with these videos let's take a look at some of his facts from Elite Prospect of course once again 18 um he is from Ottawa our nation's capital uh so once again another good Canadian boy a defenseman as we said before six foot 187 pounds I think that is what the fifth player that the Flames have taken in this draft that have pretty much the exact same height and weight same dimensions it's pretty crazy when they do their photo we'll see who's actually the tallest and the shortest or if they'll all be exactly six foot it's like a tinder dating profile so you have to say you're six foot in order to get some traction. Maybe that's the same thing that's going on here with these prospects. But as you see here, another right shot defenseman. If we look at his player type, he is a mobile defenseman and offensive defenseman. So once again, another very skilled, very offensive minded defenseman from the OHL. I'm pretty sure the Flames have the top three pretty much from the OHL this past season in Perec, Brustevich, and of course, Hank Muse. Now, I just... Wow, I'm so happy that at least one of them has to pan out, right? We hope all three of them do, but at least one of them has to. I mean, I'm certain Perek will. Brustevich almost certainly will as well. Henry Muse isn't bad to have either as a third option. Who knows? He could end up being the first. We'll just have to wait and see. Love seeing this. Let's take a deeper dive into his actual stats here. So from the past two seasons in the O for the 67s, um, this past season, 15 goals, 46 assists for 61 points in 65 games. Not bad at all for a defenseman. I know at this point, us Flames fans are used to these defensemen getting well over a point per game, but still, Muse putting up almost a point per game is absolutely sensational. To do that in your draft year is obviously very good. The season before, when he was a year younger, not quite as eye-popping about 
half as many points with 31, but still 12 goals, 19 assists in just the 55 games played. He's a defenseman, but he has a nose for the net, which is great. 65 penalty minutes there. You can see too, the kid has got some game. It is kind of shocking that he fell to us this late. And as I said before, it seems like almost everyone is happy about it. I think the Flames got a steal here. I know only time will tell. And of course, I could be looking so silly and this could be the coldest take. And this video will go down as, you know, an absolute, uh, just so bad on the channel. Please don't flame me. But either way, I think I love this pick. So happy with Conroy. He's doing a great job so far through this. I know the draft is over by now, but he had a great draft. And this pick, maybe above all other than, of course, the ninth overall, has really shown just how good this team can be at drafting after they've kind of shown in the past with some other managerial teams and scouting teams that maybe it doesn't go quite as well. And of course, once again, I know only time will tell, but I am just excited and optimistic. Now let's get into the rest here. I'm not going to do every single player that the Flames drafted the rest of the way, but just still looking at the first four rounds. We've already done a couple videos on the first round, a video on the second round from yesterday. Now today we've got the third round and we'll do the fourth round as well because that's when the Flames had so many picks. Eight picks through the first four rounds, two in each. Um, so as we know, Muse was the first one from the third round and we also picked a goalie in Kirill Zerubin. Um, I'm probably totally butchering that. I have a terrible Russian accent, but he is a goalie um, who was quite good in the second division of Russian hockey this year. Something like a 944 save percentage and five shutouts in 29 games, something like that. I didn't have enough photo space um, within the software database to pull up uh, the stats for everyone, but either way, his aren't bad at all. Another just great young goalie to have within the system. And you never know. Sometimes these goalies end up being absolute hidden gems, diamonds in the rough. Zerubin, he could be one. We'll watch him develop. We probably won't hear his name much at the NHL level over the next few seasons, but we'll just have to wait and see what does happen with him. Do not hate this pick at all. I don't think it's fantastic. We didn't necessarily need goalies, but again, I don't hate it. I like what Conroy is cooking here. Let's get into the next one. So our first pick, while it was supposed to be the first of two picks in the fourth round, was Trevor Hoskin, another forward. The kid's not bad, put up some pretty good stats, um, and it was not bad having him at all. Just another good, skilled forward once again, put up some great points. I can't remember them off the top of my head. But of course, you can go look them up yourself. Hockey DB is the place to go for that still. I know I still use Hockey DB. I sound like an absolute boomer dinosaur when I say that. But either way, Hoskin, he seems pretty good. Uh, does, of course, seem as though the forwards we did take earlier in the draft probably are a little bit more skilled, have some more high quality, but you never know. With development, who knows what could happen? Trevor could be great. And we were supposed to actually have back-to-back -back picks here. But the Flames did end up making a trade and traded away their second, fourth rounder to the Philadelphia Flyers, the 107th pick for the 150th pick and the 177th pick all in this year's draft. Of course, if you want me to make another video on the rest of the draft picks we made, please let me know down below and I will happily do that. I just wanted to focus on more of the earlier rounds as they have more potential of making it to the NHL level. We are Flames Digest after all, but... That was all the craziness that happened in the first four rounds. So happy with the picks that were made. Um, the rest of the picks, the rest of the way weren't too bad at all. Pretty good value for the rounds they were in. And honestly, just happy overall with the draft. Can't hate on it at all. Now let's wrap up this video with the comment of the day. And this one, once again, as many of the comments of the day will be for the near future, has to do with the early portion of the draft maybe some early reactions to Zane Parekh. And I like this one here from Mark Dites. Scouting report I watched said this kid is the most dynamic defenseman he has seen in 25 years of covering the OHL. Not a bad choice. In 25 years of OHL hockey, he's saying that Zane Parekh is the most dynamic defenseman he has seen. That is so great to hear because if someone's following for that long, they'll probably have some intuition and wisdom about who is good. And that is just music to our ears as Flames fans. We really hope this kid ends up being so amazing. We've already started to embrace him so much. I love him. I know you guys do too. Let's just support him and make sure that he does end up being the player we need and want him to be. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you like what you saw here today and have a wonderful rest of your day.